All right, so let's learn how resistance is added in series and in parallel to get total resistance. So resistors, when they're in series, they add together. So I have two resistors here. One is a 22 ohm and the other is a 270 ohm and I have them in series and they're 5% tolerance and if we add them together it should be 292 ohms total. So when we test it, I got my meter on it, it reads 287 ohms. So 287 ohms um, would be within tolerance of the 5% of 292 ohms. So 5% of 292 ohms is plus or minus 14.6 ohms. So 292 ohms plus or minus 14.6 comes to 306.6 to 277.4. So the 287 ohms that my meter is reading is within tolerance of the uh, the two resistors in series. So you just when they're in series, you just add them together. That gives you total resistance. Now when resistors are in parallel, the total resistance is different. So you got two resistors in parallel here. So you got your 22 ohm and your 270 ohm. The way this works is you have to reciprocally add the two resistor values together. You would have to take one divided by one of the resistors plus one divided by the other resistor equals one divided by the total. Alright, so let's see if this math works out. We got one divided by 22 plus one divided by 270 And then 1 divided by that number should equal our total resistance. So our total resistance should be 20.34 ohms. So this should equal 20.34. Let's test it. So I'm going to put my resistors in parallel here and measure it so there you go it reads 20.3 so that's pretty much right on the money so that's series in parallel and that's how to calculate total resistance alright so to sum this up um, series circuit for resistors, you just add them together. So if you got three resistors, you know, you got your R1, R2, R3, uh, and just add them together, and that equals your re total resistance. Um, parallel resistors, so each resistor that's in parallel, you just do the reciprocal of each resistor, added that together and then do the reciprocal of the total that you get will give you your total resistance of that and just a shortcut to parallel resistors if the two resistors are the same value you just take the one resistor divided by two and that gives you your total resistance so just to prove that I downloaded a scientific calculator app to make it easier. So the symbol for the reciprocal is 
that one right there, the X with the minus one on the top right. So let's do 1,000 ohms, reciprocal of that, plus 1,000 ohms, reciprocal of that, equals that, and then you got to do the reciprocal of the total you just got here. So there you go, 500 ohms. So if you got two resistors in parallel that are the same value, you just take uh, the one of the resistors divided by two to get the actual total resistance. And it works out. Uh, it would even work if you had three resistors of the same value. Um, let's say you had another 1K resistor in parallel. Then you would take 1k divided by 3 instead of 2. Let's just do that math. So 1,000 divided by 3 equals 333.3. .3. So let's see if we do it the long way. 1,000 reciprocal plus 1,000 reciprocal plus 1,000 reciprocal equals that and then the reciprocal of the total equals 333.3 .3. so it's a little quicker if you got resistors of the same value take the resistance of one of the resistors and divide it by the total of n total number of resistors that are in parallel and another thing to remember is when calculating resistance in parallel the total resistance that you get will never be greater than the smallest resistor so if you are troubleshooting um, a resistor that's in circuit and you just want to see if it's potentially bad and you put your meter across it and the resistance reads greater than the value of the resistor then that resistor is probably bad Usually resistors either open up or the resistance gets higher over uh, age. So, something to keep in mind. So to help give some understanding on why the resistance goes up whenever you add a resistor in series or why the resistance goes down whenever you add a resistor in parallel, here's why. In a series circuit, you got the current flow through every resistor and every time you add another resistor in series with that current flow it throws another obstacle uh, in the way of that current which slows it down and that's why your resistance goes up. In parallel every time you add a resistor that's another route for the current to flow so the current can go so the current goes up because it's got another route to flow through. So if you just had two resistors um, it'll only have two routes you add a third one it's got three routes so there's more current draw and that's why the resistance goes down when adding resistors in parallel. So I hope that makes some sense.